All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Undisputed. I'm going to give Amir Khan another go today. So, like a second wave, trying out these fighters again. I thought you did a fight last time with him. Who was it? I can't remember now. Who did I face? Oh, Martinez, that was it. 85 and 86. Let's go against Crawford this time. I think Amir uh, has a loss on his record to, to Crawford. So, let's see if we can... Uh, we can get a win against the 90 rated boxer in this. There we'll go. Let's do copy box this time. Undisputed difficulty, leave everything else at default. There's the new lad, Jacobs there, look at him. I think the only boxer match I've ever been to live I've actually only been to one boxing match live, and it was Amir Khan against uh, it was a, Amir against Breeders Prescott. It was uh, that was fucking has been back in two thousand and eight. And it spills over tonight. That was that was mad. That was like I'm seeing him get KO'd Alongside as well, like that. The way he did. Legend, Johnny Nelson. God, that seems like a fucking lifetime ago. Friend. I went to watch that. Went with a, a girl who we used to I used to work at a pub, it's Amir King and we went we went, we went like on a. Just a night out in some, well, we thought we'll go and watch. There was a, we knew there was a fight coming up at the weekend, and we thought, well, fuck it, we'll get tickets for it. We ended up watching that. Himself, it was the atmosphere Crawford, was nuts. Like. The for... That's the first and only boxing match I've ever watched. It, like, I've actually got tickets for it and gone to watch live. Tonight, they are as fast as they come. Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight, one of the best to ever do it. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at them. The crowd is ready. I'm ready. And here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing in the red corner. From Bolton, England, here is the Olympic silver medalist, one of Britain's youngest ever professional world champion, a unified 140-pound champion of the world, introducing Amir King Khan. Hiding out of the blue corner from Omaha. It'd be good if we get some like additional introduction animations for these the intros as well. It's normally the exact same intros. Every time, I wonder if we're going to get some other ones as the game progresses through its development. Like even you win animation where you sort of walk around the ring and put your arms up in the air, that's all the same, you know, and it'd be nice to see some like different ones depending on like sort of how you win, like the, the, the dramaticness of a finish and maybe a more elated win or a more like sort of exhausted looking win animation. We'll hopefully we'll get some additional animations and we're not just gonna get just these one like one size fits all animations for everybody we even get the same animations that we do for the men for the women so it really is a one size fits all sort of animation set oh, Amir is so fast I better guess that comes at a trade off with the glass chin <laughs> They've given him lightning fast punch speed, but he can get knocked out just as quickly as he throws his punches. I don't actually know if that's true, by the way, with his chin stat. I don't actually look at the stats, so I couldn't tell you what his chin stat is. Just, uh, just poking fun at Amir a little bit, because he's, he's kind of known for getting uh, sent to the red room when he gets clipped with a good shot. You can walk into an arena and be the hero. The pressure, the expectation. Oh, look at that head movement from Crawford there. Just getting out of the way of that left hook. Ignore them. Lock it up. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Tom. You've got to ignore them. Get so I actually go. went to a decision. A, a lot of people are like saying, like, Khan is a fucking destroyer in this game and he's fucking sleeping everyone. But I. Oh. Hate Crawford already. But I actually went to a decision with against Martinez in that video and. It was only after watching the video back. Martinez's defense was fucking ridiculous. He was blocking so many of that, like, so many of me punches. I had 900 punches thrown. 
as a total in the fight, but I think he blocks it on like 300 of them. Nice so like it is def like a lot of those shots that I was throwing at Martinez were getting in, so it's no wonder I was saying like oh, I can't believe like I didn't hurt him. Like it's no wonder he blocked a fucking shitload of them. Oh, look how quick that combination was there. Liver shots right straight and a left up. What do we expect to see here in round two? The counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get up across on the inside there. I don't think they've actually included the inside fight into this game yet. Have they? Like, if you if you cast your mind back or to some videos that were being released prior to early access coming up it was like over the last couple of years like they're showing off like an infighting mechanic and I don't think that's actually in the game yet maybe they're just working on everything else but like the punches will look like it's like they looked different as you as you were sort of up tight like this and you're working on the inside like little uppercuts and hooks like it looked a little bit different but to how it does here so oh he's hurt Oh, nice left up a cut from Crawford. He misses with that jam. So yeah, maybe they're going to slowly start to add in the inside fighting. Unless they just got rid of it. And they're just sticking with this, I don't know. Like, I haven't really heard them mentioning oh, anything when it comes to like inside fighting and separate mechanics. That's just what somebody in my comment section said once, that it, was, it wasn't included in the game yet, but... I don't know if that's the case or they just got rid of it and they're going with, the, with what they've got now. I don't know if they've openly said they took it out temporarily to make sure everything else works. He misses with that jab. Read, that combo no comes out like fucking point. lightning. Oh, beautiful that power straight combination there off the, the jab to the body. I really like how that flows. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance without a doubt. Meg looks so, so easy. Let's get it started in round three. Oh, big right hand there from Crawford as I stepped in for the to engage with the, the one-two. Which one of these athletes is gonna say I can't take it anymore? I don't like to use that that click and the stick in there to to do the slip, like it because it taxes your stamina. I'd rather just sort of like back out of range and then move back in again. You know you. Same with like UFC 4, if you, if you just stand there doing loads of slips and stuff like that, you, you're fucking going to end up with no stamina. So I'd rather just make the opponent miss by moving backwards, or just out of range, and then spring it in sort of like that. Heard the phrase finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Oh, hard right straight to the body. Oh, beautiful left uppercut there from Crawford. That one will count. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. A little, little cheeky left up up there like a, with the bell. There's the bell to start round four. He 
there's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And he fails to score with that left hook. Okay. Counter jab there from Crawford landed. Landed flush. Oh, beautiful left up to the body, or left up a touch of the side. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring feeling like your that stamina. Hand, because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Misses with that big right hand. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. You know the scorecards oh. are gonna be all Hits him. Gonna run out of time. Try and stop him safely to his right. Oh, just survives till the end of the round. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. On to the fifth we go. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. Both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second oh, they touch hit him again. Oh, beautiful the left off. Oh, beautiful right straight as I came in there. Oh, nice one two, step in one two. Cut him off onto that side. Oh, and a right upper cut gets through to the body. Trying to catch him with that left up there he was, as he was exiting to his right. I think that was one of those like states that you sometimes end up in when you get up from a knockdown and you sort of can't move properly like you, your movements is very restricted and it only takes the opponent one punch anywhere to put you down I think they should get rid of that to be honest because that's like a free knockdown you know it, it it only takes one punch for the opponent to drop you you're not going to be able to guess where it's coming it only even if you block the first one all he has to do is land the second one and it's like it's 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 a second knockdown that is sort of guaranteed, and you you're probably getting like ten seven in the round because you're getting knocked down twice. And I feel like they should get rid of that. It's it's a it's an easy knockdown. It's a gifted knockdown. Like just get rid of it and make me work for that second knockdown. Don't just give me it just because like he's, you know, just let him get up with like, you know, so, where he's not like in a rock state. I don't know. I, I I think they should do away with that. I really don't like that. Disaster averted, it seems. Yeah, like I say, it's a oh big power right straight and a left up. Yeah, I feel like they should do away with that sort of free knockdown, getting up and you're in like a stunned state. If it happens again, I'll point it out. But you know when you've got it, 
because you can knock them down immediately after they've just been knocked down with one punch. You'd have to pull the video back and go and look at it yourselves there, but... Combination jab right straight, uh, sorry, jab right uppercut, left up and right straight. Mouthpiece came out. That might be it. Oh, what a combination to end the fight! Beautiful. Can't wait till we eventually get replays and we can actually see, like, look back at your handiwork and see these combinations like the way the update has changed this game it rewards counter punching now like you know it, you really do do damage to your opponent with counter punches now which I like to see because I like to throw combinations I, I, when I play these games I like to throw realistic combos and for the most part it's against the AI at least it's it's changed the game like it, just, just before the updates like if you try to step in and throw a combo like the ones I've been doing against the AI it'd slip like the second punch or duck it and then it'd blast you with a counter so it, it deterred you from throwing combinations you had to just sort of wait for the AI to miss and then counter it with a, with a single strike but uh, they've definitely moved towards combination punching which let's be real should have been should have been a feature from the offset you know what I mean boxing's it's not all about count, uh, combination punching but it's a big part of it, you know what I mean? You don't see many boxers going in there just throwing single shots to get the win, do you? Anyway, I'm going off. But there's your fight totals if you're, if you're interested in seeing that. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time.